Hi everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions and I'm about as far away from a Wi-Fi hotspot as I could find. It's a good day, hence why I'm out here doing a product review. Do a quick pan. The reason I'm out here and as far away from Wi-Fi as possible is because today I will be reviewing this. This is the mobile Wi-Fi unit from 3 and this is the model name and number. So let's get the review started. Okay, as we open the box, if I could do this one-handed, because I'm trying to do, trying to film the review free-handed, as I didn't really want to bring a tripod out into the middle of the park, because that would look a bit weird. But here we go. Here's the unit itself. This is the main one that you're going to be using. I've just taken it apart. I'll show you why in a second. There's the unit. Take up this cardboard piece, and we have what seems to be like a docking station for you to charge it. Uh, we also have the power connections, a USB cable, as you can see here. Put that over there. We also have another USB cable, which looks like a slightly longer one with the same connection. Yep. And we have various documentation at the bottom. We'll leave that in there for the time being, as I've charged it up before the review. The first thing you have to do is make sure your SIM card is inserted in the back of the device. And then you want to go ahead and put your battery in and then put the cover on, and that's all there is to it. On the device itself, we have a power button. We've also got another button which is sort of like displays your wireless key, hence the key symbolization. On the other side, we have a micro SD slot, and on the bottom, we have room for the USB connector. Okay, let's go ahead and power it on. I'm not sure if you're able to see this because of the glossiness and the brightness of the outside world, but no, you won't be able to. But essentially, all it says on here is connected, and it displays the key. Also has the number 3 to symbolise that this is in fact from 3. Okay, now you've got this turned on, let's simply refer to the iPad, which is on the other side. Again, you can see me in the reflectiveness. Now, I'm using the non-3G version of the iPad 1. This has no 3G capabilities at all, so I won't be able to get on the internet without using Wi-Fi, basically. And as you can see, here it's detected the 3 mobile Wi-Fi device, which is this right here. All you're going to go ahead and do is tap on the screen, and then put the password in, which comes up when you press the key button on here, which again you probably won't be able to see, but I'll go ahead and type that in now, then I'll get back to you. And that's basically all there is to it. All you're doing is you're connecting this device via Wi-Fi to this device, so you're using 3G signal from this to get internet on here via Wi-Fi. So I can sit out here, in the sun, and browse the internet on my iPad, which is Wi-Fi only. There isn't really much to say about this device, because it is very, very simple to use. All you literally do is you insert the SIM card, insert the battery, turn it on, put the right code in, then connect with your iPad, and that's all there is to it. I don't really have any negatives to this. There is no negatives, really, except maybe it's a bit glossy on the front, but that's about it. So is the iPad. No complaints. Just to give you an idea of how powerful this is, I'm getting 0.58 megabits per second, and I never normally get signal out here anyway, and I'm with O2. And this is with three. I'm not saying anything bad about either network, but still. I never normally get network connection out here, but this is enabling me to get 0.58 megabits per second through a device that small. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with another review. This time it's been of the mobile Wi-Fi device from 3, specifically this one. All relevant links will be in the description if there are any needed. Thanks for watching again, this has been Adam from Ads Productions.